Uh, so the way we got started on this is, I think Steve was watching a video series on YouTube called Notes and Volts, and he was talking about uh, how to make a MIDI controller using Arduino platform. Steve called me and said, you know, I think I have all the parts to, to try this out. So he, uh, he started putting it together and I came over and we had the thing working in no time. It was really cool. You know, that gave us some confidence. And we ended up building out a fairly sophisticated uh, MIDI controller. It was, it was pretty neat, but in the end, we decided to shelve it and move on to this newer project. Um, we, we really learned a lot through that process. Um, we learned, for instance, how to mux encoders. You'll notice a lot of maker projects uh, don't have more than one or two encoders because it gets complicated once you want eight, for instance. And Steve came up with a really novel software solution uh, to read the muxes, to read the encoder values through the muxes. So last year, in 2016, Steve had an idea similar to the Noodler, which he started implementing uh, in an iPad app. But both of us, you know, after starting this uh, controller project, we, we were really convinced having a hardware, piece of hardware to touch and control was a lot more fun, a lot more, gave you more creative freedom. So we started building the Noodler hardware platform. So after uh, getting the feature set of the Noodler understood, we built a breadboard prototype. And uh, from there, we uh, took the prototype and put it into a schematic drawing, started a board layout, kind of like that. and. Uh, put together a kind of vision of what the faceplate would look like with the layout, with the knobs and everything. A lot of the development was done on the breadboard up until we did a handmade box. Looks like that. And this actually has two circuit boards and a lot of wire. There's an 80 pin SCSI cable between the two boards to connect everything together. But that uh, got us to the point where we could do a printed circuit board. We did the hardware layout. Then we had the re design reviewed by our good friend Paul, uh, who's been in the electronic music business for decades. Gave us a lot of confidence to uh, send off for 10 boards to be made. We had them built with the surface mount components on, and then hand stuffed all the through hole parts and hand soldered them. Here's what it looks like, uh, assembled, hand soldered. We have our Cortex M0 development platform board on the back, socketed. Two MIDI inputs, MIDI output, USB connector for power and firmware updates, and a program button. So once we had the board made, <clears throat> we needed to put it in an enclosure. We thought a lot about what kind of materials and what kind of enclosure we wanted to put it in. And we came up with this uh, bamboo box. It's a robust and kind of eco-friendly material, and we really like the look of it. And then to top it off, we had our good friend Kelly with a CNC machine help us uh, route out the uh, faceplate. This is the first one. It's a little rough, but works great. And then another friend, Andy, has a uh, vinyl printer, and uh, he helped us print the graphics for the uh, graphics on the front of the box. So this is what the current prototype looks like, what we think of as really kind of like a, the look of a finished product. There's things we can do to enhance uh, the design. Right now... Um, Having the processor on its own printed circuit board uh, makes for a difficult assembly process. So we'd like to put the processor down on the board. We could potentially upgrade the processor to get more RAM and flash to give us headroom for future improvements. And uh, we'll need to put the um, 
the LCD display down on the board. So those are those are things that are uh, yet to be done. We feel this this product is shippable as it is today. We could literally manufacture it as it is. Um, the only thing we'll want to do is look at the volume we want to ship and see what efficiencies we can get in any upgrades we might decide to do. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>